Yeah. I'm just looking at this, uh, the new emperor's brother. Yeah. <laughs> it could be the, the brother of his father or, <laughs> or the son of his father. Yes. <laughs> You know, it's it's interesting that the emperor of Japan, yeah. <laughs> see, I don't know the family history of the Japanese emperor, <laughs> but he's concerned, yes, mm -hmm. even the new, the new emperor's brother, yes, that could be the son of the actual emperor, yeah, <laughs> that might be the son of the emperor's wife, yes. Now, a lot of these emperors, they have multiple wives, <laughs> I mean, their royal family, yes. And he's next in line on the phone uh, in the on the uh, on the throne. Yeah, <laughs> question whether state funds should be used for an elaborate ceremony later this year, mm -hmm. at which the new emperor's investiture shall uh, will be celebrated. <laughs> now the emperor's sister, yes, the new emperor's sister or the old emperor's sister, yes, the sister that is the daughter of the emperor or <laughs> is the daughter of the emperor and his wife. <laughs> See, over here, yeah, we seem to be having some problem with the actual, well, biological family tree. And we can't understand how it is that you could have multiple children that were not birthed from the same mother because they all had to have lookalikes that were not manufactured from any place. But I know it'd be kind of like the emperor saying, well, you're my son and you're my son and you're my daughter. But you all three had different mothers or your mother, the emperor's wife, had one child. And you... <laughs> do, you, do you have a problem with the manufacturing of the emperor's children in Japan? Because my thought was right now.